This is every TV dear viewers. Welcome to English News Broadcast for this hour. I'm your reporter, Bersa Batakhla, and following are the major headlines for today. Eritrean Community Festival celebrated in Australia and New Zealand. Monetary contribution to augment Martyrs Trust Fund. Thousands of German farmers on mass protest. And dense fog engulfs India, disrupting flights and train services. On your domestic report, the annual Eritrean Community Festival in Australia and New Zealand was celebrated with patriotic fervor from January 11 to 14 under the team Heroic Feet anchored on cohesive ranks. The festival attended by a number of nationals from several cities across Australia and New Zealand featured various activities. These included entertainment programs organized by youth, seminars discussing the current situation in the homeland and the region, and a range of cultural and artistic performances. Mr. Mahari Tahuste, Eritrea's Consul General in Australia, spoke at the event, highlighting the festival's significance as a platform for Eritreans to showcase their unity and values. He expressed his appreciation to those who contributed to making the event vibrant and colorful. Furthermore, Mr. Mahari urged the Eritrean nationals to strengthen their organizational capacity and engage more actively in national affairs. Ms. Hermela Mikael, representing the Holiday Coordinating Committee, also conveyed her gratitude for the strong commitment and participation of the community in successfully organizing the festival. The participants on their part expressed resolve to strengthen organizational capacity and stand alongside the people and government of Eritrea and its defense forces in all the national affairs. On your last domestic report, nationals inside the country and abroad extended monetary support towards augmenting the Martyrs Trust Fund and in support of families of martyrs. The report was made by the Ministry of Labor and Social Welfare. Accordingly, nationals grouped in Hedri al Nadfira Association contributed 2,600 U.S. dollars. Nationals in Amstelveen and Evenhorn, the Netherlands, contributed 2,500 euros. Mr. Burhanes Hara'a, resident in Switzerland, $720. Nationals in Leiden, the Netherlands, 3,240 euros. And Taxi Owners Association in the Central Region, 180,000 NAFA. Similarly, nationals in Ostersand in Sweden contributed 21,000 kroner towards augmenting the Martyrs Trust Fund. In other related news, during a meeting attended by area administrators, village elders, public representatives and PFDJ organizations in the Adaya subzone, it was emphasized that the support of families of martyrs and disadvantaged citizens will persist in an organized manner. Mr. Habtai Tesfasgi, the subzone administrator, emphasized the vital role of supporting families of martyrs and disadvantaged citizens in enhancing their livelihoods and called for the sustainability of these efforts. Dear viewers, we'll be back with your international news and more. Please stay tuned. Welcome back. Thousands of angry German farmers on their tractors descended on Berlin today to protest against the government's plans for higher taxes on farming operations and for fair prices for their products. The protesters are expected to draw up to 5,000 tractors, 2,000 trucks and some 10,000 demonstrators from around the country and will cap a week of nationwide unrest that has put further strain on Chancellor Olaf Scholz's coalition as it grapples with a budget mess and rising far-right forces. Finance Minister Christian Lindner planned to address the protesters this morning, and coalition party bosses invited leaders of the demonstrations for further talks.
On today's final report, flight and train services were disrupted in several Indian cities for the second consecutive day today as dense fog and cold enveloped large strips of the northern part of the country. More than 100 flights were delayed in New Delhi on Sunday, but intermittent flight operations had resumed this morning with passengers complaining of long flight delays. According to aviation website Flight Radar 24, at least 168 flights leaving Delhi were delayed and 56 flights were cancelled today. India's weather office has predicted dense fog and a cold wave in New Delhi for Monday and very dense fog for tomorrow, with a minimum temperature of 4 degrees Celsius. Dear viewers, you're still watching us on every TV and now a very quick recap of the major headlines. Eritrean Community Festival celebrated in Australia and New Zealand. Monetary contribution to augment Martyrs Trust Fund. Thousands of German farmers on mass protest. And a dense fog engulfs India, disrupting flights and train services. The viewers, that was it for today. Thanks for watching and have a good one.